These Airbus wings are at the cutting edge of technology in the UK. They dramatically demonstrate how a process of continuous innovation can sustain skilled jobs and generate wealth. Here, in the rural location of Broughton, North Wales, is one of Europe's most advanced factories, making wings for all Airbus planes, including the A320 and A350, and here in this vast hall, the wings for the 525-seat A380, the biggest passenger aircraft yet built. This UK part of Airbus is central to EADS, the pan-European civil aerospace company that failed recently to merge with Britain's BAE systems. Airbus, with its big American rival Boeing, have what amounts to a duopoly in passenger jets that have more than 100 seats. Success, says the Broughton site manager, relies on always looking 15 years ahead. Yeah, the plant now has over 6,000 people employed, uh, a growth of around 30% in the last two years alone. Uh, the biggest manufacturing plant in any, any industry now in the UK. But a lot of that is on the back not only of the development and skills and competence of our people and them staying at the forefront of technology, but also inward investment. The plant is currently making about a thousand wings for 500 aircraft a year. Each of the wings the factory has made for the A380 costs about 25 million pounds and contains 25,000 components. Riveting machines put together much of the A380 wing in four-storey high jigs, with the rest done by hand. Next, the 35-ton wings are fitted out with cabling and painted, and then, because they're too large to be flown, are shipped to Toulouse in France, where they are assembled with other parts made across Europe. But the big question is, what's the potential of high-tech plants like this one to give a sustainable boost to the lacklustre British economy. The most obvious economic boost is on the many UK companies that supply Airbus. Over 400 Airbus suppliers in the UK, over 100,000 people employed in the wider supply chain of Airbus in the UK. We're continually working with our supplier base, or in some cases risk sharing partners as we call, uh, call them, to share technology, to share ideas, to share development. The other way the site can help the UK economy is through training. Airbus has about 400 apprentices at the factory, some of whom spoke recently to Prime Minister David Cameron. Some of the apprentices are involved in a pioneering scheme, which means over three years they do a university degree course in engineering, as well as getting a hands-on practical training. A lot of my friends went to university um, and I can say now that although I'm getting, I'm getting my degree within two, two extra years, um, I'm going to have five years experience uh, and hopefully be involved in like, the new technologies or developing um, new ideas for aircraft and, and maybe in 20-30 so years the aircraft we see today aren't going to be the way they were now. But complexity and scale can create problems. The A380 programme's been hit by delays, cost overruns and a problem with cracks in a small percentage of components connected to the wing ribs. It shows how in such high-tech operations it's important to get the little things right. There's a growing body of opinion that says Britain's future should be built around what it was good at a hundred years ago. That's making things. Of course, Britain will have to get right a lot of policy issues before it can move smartly in that direction. But a few hours spent here in this plant in the countryside gives a strong sense that Britain does not lack capabilities when it comes to moving ahead in that area. This is Peter Marsh, Financial Times, North Wales.